Lucas Media. Shout out to ones who support me and ones who hate me. I'm watching Charleston White do his almost monthly show with Sean Cotton or episode, whatever you want to call it. Say cheese. And he has several things to say. I'll break it down. My thoughts on different things he talked about. But one of the things he did talk about was Russia and China and how he does fear them because they have um, they was able to disrupt the Internet and they got a crazy economy. And even how now the dollar is being devalued and other people are trying to team up against us, i.e. Cuba banning joining forces with Russia and China and other countries as well. Where now our dollar is not being respected anymore because it's not backed by anything, pretty much, which is true. Here's my thing, right? For this is really to my brothers and sisters who watch Charleston White. The reason why he's saying that about Russia and China is because that there's one thing that they value that we have not been really valuing since the 1960s, and that's education. Spent two weeks over in China. And in those two weeks over there, I see why China is where they are. And we too busy over here with our pants sagging, showing Dracos, sipping lean, buying cars we can't afford to impress people we don't even know. And these people over there are studying. Malcolm X said it the most. The best, should I say. We have an intellectual laziness. And they don't. See, China and Russia were really farmer countries. Just go back. Do your own research. Go back several decades ago. And Japan, too, honestly. But then they started to focus on education. Do y'all know that when kids are born over there, they're already... They already got the date that when they're going to take their exams to finish school. They're constantly reading, constantly reading, trying to learn new things. Man, China got bullet trains over there. Their technology is up. They was on Apple Pay. Well, their version of Apple Pay before we were. They was on 4G and 5G before we were. Because they focus on that. We as a community don't even read. You know what they say about us? If you want something from us, put it in a book. Just ask, ask your cousin, ask your uncles, ask your mom. When last time y'all read a book or studied the economy? Never. And we too busy over here to sleep at the wheel. So I, I, I do see what he's saying. And honestly, all you have to do is wake up in the morning and go to your local stores Go to the hair store. Go to the gas stations. Go to the corner stores. And look who's in there, who runs them. And see where your money's circulating. Go to the laundromats. My bad, I forgot all about that. Guess what? Look who owns them. Look who's running them. And do y'all really think that that money's being recycled in your community? I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.